feel some strange energy. everyone and welcome to the final part of Sonic Adventure 2's hero story and now we are playing Final Rush and I'm gonna warn you right now I lose a lot of lives in this level it's all due to that railing system I mean sometimes I would hit a certain rail a certain way other times I would try to get to this other rail and I would fall to my doom and uh, and sometimes things like artificial chaos would screw me over but, uh, thankfully, for your benefit, I cut out most of those deaths, so, um, yeah. Okay, so, um, that whole bit with Sonic Chaos Controlling with a fake emerald, and learning Chaos Control by observing Shadow the Hedgehog. Let's see here. Is it just awesome by analysis, or a pulling of the rectum? You decide. So, yeah, Sonic's going to jam this fake emerald straight up that uh, cannon to destroy it, I guess. Um, how does that even work? Uh, I don't know. All I know is that this level involves a lot of grinding. A lot of grinding. Uh, you know, I never got the hang of grinding in this game, even though I know what to do. And to be fair, it's been years since I played this game, so I am going to be a little rusty at this, to be fair. I know what you're thinking. Oh, I should have practiced first. Oh, yeah, I should have practiced first, but at the same time, I have I have a life. I have other things I need to do, and, uh, well, I do what I can, and, uh, well, yeah. As you saw here, that was my first jump cut because I died a lot. Well, I lost two lives there already. So, ugh. Alright, since we're nearing the end of the hero story, I might as well go ahead and say some things. Um, the uh, ending theme for the hero story is It Doesn't Matter, a rearranged version of It Doesn't Matter. And, um, honestly, like the others, I prefer the original one, the one from Sonic Adventure. It's like, oh god, that was close. Whew. As I was saying, I prefer the one from Sonic Adventure because it feels more lively, as it were. I mean, uh, this one is actually a close second, and uh, again, it's all about personal preference, which music you like. Alright, this section right here, you can either go the middle pathway or the pathway to the right, and either way will lead you onward. How the heck did I do that? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, now we're on the uh, right pathways uh, path. And I believe the uh, hole on the left leads to one of those electric shields. Yep, uh, electric shield. Yep. Too bad they don't have the other elemental shields in this game, like the fire or bubble shield. <clears throat> but I can understand the electric shield in this case. You know, you want to get all rings possible because there are a bunch of things in this level that can really screw you over. Ugh. Okay. Alright, so, uh, now, like I said earlier, um, I'm not going to get every single emblem, but, uh, if you do manage to get every single emblem or use some kind of action replay code, <clears throat> you can unlock another stage in this game. Specifically, Green Hill Zone in 3D. Yeah. Go back to all that nostalgia. <sighs> Again, um, I mean, it is a lot of work if you're doing it the honest way, but if you decide to go action replay, 
Well then, uh, more power to you, I guess, or you're a cheater, or I don't know. Uh. And multiplayer. Well, for the time being, I am not going to do any multi. I'm not going to do any multi. I'm not going to do any multiplayer or anything. I'm <clears throat> sorry. I'm. <clears throat> I have a sore throat tonight. I'm sorry. As I was saying, I'm not doing multi multiplayer because, well, uh, I know it's fun, but at the moment I don't have any way of recording a second person right now. So, uh, yeah, you're going to have to watch other playthroughs online. Or, if you want to do a uh, silent commentary um, sometime in the future, mm, sure. But I'll go ahead and tell you what multiplayer is all about. <clears throat> It's essentially you pick uh, similar type characters and you go through a stage like uh, this one, for example. And, uh, well, um, let me explain. How do I explain this? Okay. <clears throat> you pick like uh, a speedy Sonic character or Shadow character. And those include uh, Sonic, Shadow, Amy of all people, and Metal Sonic. And you would go through a level like this one or a City Escape. <clears throat> and your goal is to try to race to the end. And then there will be all sorts of powers to slow your opponent down, or I think there's even one that you can switch opponents. So uh, if, um, like, Shadow is in the lead, for example, and Sonic hits this um, thing that allows you to switch places, Sonic will be in the lead, and <clears throat> that's uh, cool, I guess. And the second type of multiplayer involves a shootout. And, of course, it involves mechs, which means there will be Tails and Eggman. The other two uh, participants of the mech battles are Chow. Yeah, for some reason we have two types of Chow. I think a normal Chow and the dark Chow. And they have their own little mechs that they can shoot each other with. So, yeah. The And uh, the third one is the treasure hunting uh, thing. And of course it involves Knuckles and Rouge. And the other two people are... Get this, Chaos Zero and to call. So that's, I guess they need to fill out a couple of, um, well, players for the whole section right here. Uh, speaking of sections, oh geez Louise, you know, Sonic Generations and those games spoil me that have the Unleashed style gameplay. They really spoil me because in that situation, if I had the boost, I could have made it there no problem, but mm, oh well. This is old school 3D platforming, and well, I played this before I played uh, Colors Unleashed and Generations, so I'm used to that kind of thing. All right, as I was saying about that uh, whole uh, to call chaos thing, I mean it's kind of weird that they would have these two, but then again, it's multiplayer, so it really shouldn't matter. Also, to calls lines are ripped straight from Adventure One. Yeah, they, uh, they did not get her voice actress back to record it. And here, right here, I did not intend to get Sonic's Mystic Melody. I swear to you, I was not going for his Mystic Melody, but hey, it was there. I might as well take it and uh, move on, hopefully. Yeah, so to calls, uh, uh, voice ripped straight from Adventure 1, and that's kind of lazy right here. So, ugh. Thankfully, I got two additional lives during this playthrough, and uh, thankfully, I do not die, well, anymore in this section, thank goodness. Ugh. I mean, I was so mad. I was like, ugh. ugh. I mean, I was contemplating either, like, taking a break and going to another level to uh, stock up on some lives before coming back here, but uh, I decided I'm this close to the end, must persevere. And one of the problems with this level is uh, these grindings right here. I mean, you go on the side grinding here, and if you are off just a little bit, you go to your doom. I mean, I know you can have a chance to correct yourself, but at the same time, uh, the controls are still a little bit finicky, as it were. Ugh, that was close. Now, I don't think it matters which one you go down. I think they all lead to the same place. Essentially, you go down here, and we get another chasing section. Run, Sonic, run! Ugh. 
Anyway, I think this is the final section before we hit the goal ring and score. Thank God we have completed the final level of Hero Story. <sighs> it's kind of weird seeing Sonic all pimped out with his gloves, but hey, well, that's the upgrades for you. Alright, so I think we all know where this is going if you've seen the Dark Story cutscene, so uh, here we go. You never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in you space. You know what can I say? I die hard. You actually saved me, you know. It was a Chaos Emerald, wasn't it? But there's no way you could have activated the Chaos Control using an Emerald that's fake. So, there's more to you than just looking like me. What are you, anyway? But you know, I can't let you live. Your bedroom days are coming to an end. Only this time, it's Sonic pounding Shadow, and that sounded wrong. I'm sorry. <sighs> anyway, like before, we have to keep hitting him, and at about half health, Shadow will homing attack to cancel out your homing attack, and we have to wait until he does his special move, which I think it's Chaos Spear. Uh, does Chaos Spear exist as of this game? I think it does. I think he calls it something else, but it's Chaos Sphere. So essentially just wait for him to do a special move and then go for the attack. I do have to say, I do like this uh, final uh, confrontation music here. Although I do enjoy uh, Generations uh, a bit more of that version. Although to be fair, I have listened to mashups of both this version and the Generations version online. So, um, yeah. And why does the road keep falling? I'm guessing it's because the arc is so old, it's, uh, well, falling to pieces, I guess. But it's still somewhat operational. Well, mostly. <sighs> anyway, down goes the so-called ultimate life form. And we have achieved victory for the good guys! Yay! Sonic! I did it! Awesome job, Tails! Sonic! Look outside! The Eclipse Cannon has been destroyed. We have thwarted the evil plans of Dr. Eggman once again. All is right in the world. So, um, what do I think of Hero's story? Well, um, I like uh, Sonic's levels, uh, well, except for Final Rush. Uh, Knuckles' levels, the whole treasure hunting aspect, um, I found it okay because, well, the only problem I had with those sections was time. It took sometimes a long time to find just one emerald piece or one key or whatever 
And this applies to Rouge's uh, levels as well, because she does this pretty much the same thing. So, yeah. Tails' um, levels, well, to be fair, again, I heard he was a last-minute addition, so he was pretty much a cut and paste of Eggman, only without some of the cool stuff like uh, upgraded armor. I mean, I think Tails would have upgraded with upgraded armor, or if they had more time to develop the game, had uh, Tails transform his mech into, I don't know, a plane or something? Something that Tails can fly around and destroy robots from above? Something like that. <sighs> but, uh, whatever. And of course, Amy was there just cuz, because... Ugh. Yeah, she, pretty mu she was pretty much worthless in the story. Uh, but, and yeah, I know, I know, uh, I, I know what you're going to say, folks, but she's, as so far, worthless. That's all I'm going to say about that. To be fair, she was pretty speedy in multiplayer. I guess they had to have a Sonic speedy character for her or something. I mean, she was fast in uh, good old uh, Sonic Heroes, but of course she's meant to fill the role of the speedy character there, but yeah. <sighs> so, this brings up a little contradiction here. On the one hand, we have the heroes winning by destroying the Eclipse Cannon. On the other hand, we have the villains winning in their story by, uh, well, uh, just a few seconds away from firing the Eclipse Cannon at the Earth. So, uh, which ending is the true ending, uh, you might say? <laughs> Well, I'm sorry to say that it was the dark story that is more canonical to the overall story. Yeah, I mean, we do see Eggman pick up the last emerald in the hero story, which could go back to that whole um, dark story ending. But then, uh, then of course, the cutscenes sometimes are in sync with one another, sometimes they, are, they contradict one another. So, yeah. But, we're not done with the story yet. Neither hero nor villain won this day. We have more, folks. We have more story. Shadow. The ultimate life form. End of Chaos Vengeance. Space Ghost Prayer. Weak Shield. Untamed power of Maria. Chaos and Professor Gerald the truth about 50 years ago. Everything. Sonic Adventure 2. Last episode, Wishes Are Eternal. Next video, we begin the last story. See you then.